Hey everyone, Tio here. In this video, I want to tell you why a 100 watt multi-port gallium nitride charger may not be ideal for charging your laptop. First of all, disclaimer, this is a sponsored product from Ugreen that I received many months ago and I have already made a review for this. And this is the new 200 watt gallium nitride charger from Ugreen that I purchased with my own money. This is US $200. This is US $100. And this is my first gallium nitride charger, which is 120 watts. This is a wall charger, and these two are desktop chargers. This 100 watt charger actually works really well. However, to get 100 watts charging, you cannot use more than one port at a time. And since you purchased this charger with multiple ports, chances are you may want to use more than one port at a time. So, if you use two ports, for example, this and this, the power distribution will be 65 and 30. And if you use this three ports, it will be 45, 30, and 22. Whether your laptop can continue to charge after reduced power delivery or reduced wattage will depend on the power requirement of your laptop. So for certain high-powered laptops, such as gaming laptops or laptops with graphics card, they may require a minimum wattage to charge. So for example, if I charge this laptop with the charger, I can get 100 watts charging. If I connect another laptop to the charger, the power output will become 65 and 30 watts. So 30 watts is good enough for charging this MacBook Air, but 65 watts is actually not sufficient to charge this laptop. So even though I've used only two ports, but only one laptop instead of two laptops can be charged. This 120 watt charger that I have is actually better compared to the 100 watt Ugreen charger. If you look at the power distribution graphics by the side, you can see that if I use the first and third port for charging my laptop, I can get 90 watt and 30 watt charging. So I can charge two laptops. But if I use the first two port, then the power delivery will be divided to 60 and 60 watts so only the macbook air can charge but my bigger laptop won't be able to charge so i have to use the correct port to charge two laptops i like this charger a lot but it's a wall charger a desktop charger is just way more convenient because you can have access to your ports from your table so this is the ugreen 200 watt gallium nitride charger with six ports there are four USB-C ports and two USB-A ports, and this charger can charge two high-powered laptops at the same time, provided you only connect two devices to this charger. If so, you can get 100 watt charging from this port, another 100 watt charging from this port. Shown on the screen right now is the graphics for power distribution depending on the number of ports that are in use. So if you add or connect a new device to the charger, the power distribution or allocation will automatically switch. The most important thing you need to know from this graphics is the power is not going to be averaged out evenly. So it's not like 200 watts divided by six. If you connect three laptops, the power delivery will be divided to 65, 65, and 65 watts. So those laptops that require more than 65 watts for charging will not be able to charge. So this is a very powerful charger and the build quality is excellent. The design also looks pretty good. There are four rubber feet beneath to raise the charger off the table. And the power cable is included together with this USB-C to USB-C braided charging cable. The packaging is quite nice, but I will not unbox this so that you can enjoy the unboxing experience yourself in case you decide to get this. This is such an expensive charger, so it better be durable. I will provide an update to this charger in a few months time in the comment section below. So do check back again in the future. And if you guys are interested to get this charger, consider using the Amazon affiliate links that I have for you in the video description below to help support my channel. Thanks for watching. See you guys again. Bye.